Hey all, this is Anirudh. Today I am going to show you about custom component. Custom component recently Microsoft introduced in Power Apps. The core objective of custom component is like we can create a group of controls, name it, and we can use in multiple screens or multiple app also. Uh, what it means is like let's say in the day one i actually created one uh, single form application correct there was a header of every screen uh, second day that same app i have created using five different screen with different different header third day i have created the same app dropping the attachment control and instead of that i have inserted one image picker control uh, to submit the data and with the signature control today we will see how can create one custom component with header functionality uh, if you are from let's say sharepoint developer or dotnet developer you know master page uh, concept so one particular area either header or footer or let's say left navigation it is consist in master page and your content page is loading in uh, that content page area so today we will see how to create one header component and this header component will be part of every screen and whenever we need to change we just update the that component only not every screen we will go and update the things okay let's see so this is the component tab where you can find your things but if you are uh, actually exploring first time then you need to go here there is a app setting there is a advanced setting and there is a component and you need to on this functionality i mean by default it is off so you cannot see that particular tab okay this is the first thing you need to do second is you need to create your own component so let's i am creating one new component okay in this component i want to actually create one header again so what i will do i'll create one scrollable screen i will take this and this both the thing i will copy come to the component paste this here okay now what is the height of this content 88 so for component i will make the same height okay okay so this is the first thing next let's say i want to put some icon on it one will be exit from the app and another will be go to home button okay so for that i will place one icon cancel will be the icon where user will click to exit exit the app okay next is home button if you cannot see home button directly just put one icon whatever icon you want to be change the color next you can hear and search home So this is the um, area where you want to place your text based on the screen name, correct? So how we can do? First, change the name. Okay. I'm not changing any other name. You can create naming naming nomenclature like this. Okay. For now, it is enough for me. Um now how we can uh, for exit it is very simple you just put exit and place this component to your um, to your particular screen where you want to if every screen you want you just put this uh, component to every screen and it will be exit there is no problem uh, but if you want specific thing like title will be not title for every screen so you need to change every time based on the screen name so i will show 
how it is before that i will tell one thing for exit uh, there is a there is a area confirm exit so every time if you want to ask or conf take confirmation from the user whether they really exit or not you can put on this uh, functionality and make uh, and can you can put your own text here okay so that is for exit and you i hope you already know there are two type of exit one is true and one is direct exit what is the difference between two if you just say exit it will exit from your app but you it will redirect to user power apps all app screen okay and if you put exit true it will actually close the current app and close the power app also and it will actually for um, web it will redirect to the dynamics area okay so i am just putting for now exit next thing uh, so now i need to create one custom property what will be this custom property this will be a header header text okay it will not take space because it is a name but display name can take space description can be there are two type of uh, two type of property one is input one is output input means from your app it will take some data data means i mean it is there are different type of data type so this kind of data it can take from your app to that component and output means from your component you can pass your data to your app okay just like you can imagine it is a kind of cell and this cell is called component and app is different so it will talk between i mean component versus app using this input or output variable okay currently i am taking just text okay another thing i will do whenever user will click here it will redirect to the welcome screen so again another variable i need to take again it will be input but this time it will be screen because i will pass the screen name where it will need to redirect okay so enough now what it will be i mean there will be no select of course now just i created one single screen this is the screen i gave yes so let's delete it i'll delete everything now i will put my app at component okay here just wanted to give what is the text it will be text property we had a text it's not the title dot the text okay and it will be navigate to App header one. Okay. So this will be the changes you need to do. Okay, so here we need to put our own text. You can find it here. So what will be the 
name at a text uh, okay that is how it is and let's say what will be the uh, screen so screen will be you want welcome screen correct okay now if i go here click here it will go to the welcome screen okay. so this is how it is you can use it uh, on your own one thing though i am not sure but my observation is recently microsoft came with some uh, ai builder okay my take is ai builder is nothing but a uh, custom component they actually creating let's say i am creating one screen in this screen actually i put some business card reader okay for me business card reader is a reusable component they have made there are three things in these three controls in that particular uh, business card reader component one is image one is camera and one is button and they clubbed it and they actually wanted to call as your cognitive service or computer vision api and pass the data and get uh, analyzed by ai uh, stuff and it actually uh, get the all the processed data and they are actually wanted to put here so it is not that always you need to create one header or footer or some basic things with this uh, custom component uh, but one thing i need to tell you it is still in preview mode it need to be i mean update more because sometimes you can find very irritating let's say there is a screen and in screen there is a update context variable then that update context variable you need to avail or pass in that component so for that matter you need to write or create some property custom property pass and every time it, it will be very irritating for you so for a user or for a developer you always wanted to uh, create the variables in a screen very i mean dynamically or easily not so much of hiccups but i can tell you it is a good beginning from microsoft also that we now onwards we can create one single strip either header or footer or something like that and we will use in multiple screen so maintainability will be very easy you can understand one of my app is i can i can tell you it is the biggest app 64 screens are there 64 screens if let's say i mean my client is asking delete home uh, go to home button from every screen i need to visit that 64 screen and delete instead of that i will just change the header component and it will be reflected in all the screens okay so this is all from today thanks for watching